This is Lenovo L380. It's a ThinkPad. New you're about to install Windows 10 in it. Installing Windows 10 and 11 would be the same procedure. You need to have the same sort of boot settings, BIOS settings to reinstall it. So if you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link could be in the description or you can just visit Microsoft official site to create one of the Windows installer, either 10 or 11. So first of all, what are you going to do? We're going to connect into any USB port and then we're going to shut it down. The power button on the side, why? When it's completely shut down, we're going to press the power button. And we're going to hit enter button to interrupt the normal boot. Now we're going to press F1 to get into BIOS. So here is the main page of the BIOS. It says all about the details of this machine, hardware, software, all the details. There is nothing to do. So we're going to press the right arrow and get into config section. From there, if you hit enter from the USB section, as you can see, it says USB UEFI BIOS support is enabled. Okay. Then we're going to get into security section. From there, we need to get into secure boot option, which also enable as you can see, if not, just make it enable. Press ESC to go back to the main screen. And leave the security section Intel SGX exactly like that. Security chip, security chip TPM 2.0 version. Keep it enable. Now we're going to go to startup, enter the boot. And from here, you can customize the boot priority option. For example, as you can see, the second one is my USB stick. Once you highlighted it, then if you press F, as you can see, we're going to press plus sign or F5 or F6 to go up and down. So let's check. Shift plus minus. It doesn't work. No problem. We're going to go for f5 f6 yeah it does work so if you do f5 it's going to go down f6 is going to go up and we're going to save everything by f10 we're going to hit enter and now system is going to restart and it's going to go to the windows setup page so from here we're going to choose united kingdom for us Hit next, install now. Now you're going to accept the terms and condition, which is called license agreement, and hit next. If you choose the bottom option, it's going to give us a lot of partition like that. Don't delete it if you do have any data. If you don't have anything, then it's good to go because you're going to lose every single thing, either if you format it or delete it. So you're going to create a single partition, means the entire drive, we're going to leave it for Windows, as you can see here. Now we're going to hit next and from here is going to take all the files and folders to the necessary directory and then Windows would be installed correctly so we're going to wait until the end to see if this is successful or not